Hi everyone, have you ever wondered, am I bisexual? Today, I'm going to be giving you a surefire way to work out whether you might be bi. Check this out. Hello, wonderful people. It's Mark here from Not Defining. Thank you so much for being here. This is the place where we delve into sexuality, gender, relationships, self-confidence, and so much more so that you can find your best self however you define. Now, a lot of people come to me and ask me, Mark, am I bisexual? How do I know? Here's how you know. Okay, the first thing is, what is bisexual? Well, the good news is that it is a really broad term. So bisexual basically means at its base that you can experience attraction of any kind to more than just one specific sex or gender. Okay, so that doesn't need to be in the same way at the same time or to the same degree. Okay, so you might like men more than women or women more than men or you might sometimes like men and sometimes like women or you might not really consider gender that much. You might kind of like be romantically attracted to one and sexually attracted to the other, or you might just be curious or you might be almost gay, but there's just something. That... So it's really, really broad and it can change. It can be fluid. All of that is okay. Right? So let's talk about what is attraction when we talk about attracted to somebody okay so i'm gonna say there's kind of four things right to think about and if you have any one of these four things then i think i would say you could probably say that you're bisexual okay and by the way if you're interested in bisexuality and haven't subscribed then please come and join us Click the subscribe button because I've got loads of info on bisexuality. So the first thing is romantic attraction. Can you feel romantic attraction to more than just one sex or gender? Okay. Romantic attraction is really what I would say an intense feeling of bond and affection to a particular person. And it's more than just a friend. Okay, so if you have a friend, let's say a best friend, and think about how you feel about them, right? If you're experiencing this kind of bond with someone which is more than your best friend, yeah, and you're starting to feel, feel like you're thinking about this person maybe a lot, maybe they're the main person you think about, and you feel like there's some real warm connection in your heart, towards this person, this might be romantic love. And if you're feeling that feeling to people of more than just one gender, so you might feel it to a man, you might feel it to a woman, you might feel it to an non-binary person, then that is a valid bi identity. Sometimes we call this bi-romantic. The second thing is physical attraction. How do we define whether we are feeling physical attraction or not? Well, if romantic attraction is like, if you think about a warm feeling in your heart, physical attraction is really just a warm feeling in your body, okay? So think about how your body feels when you're around that person. Does your body feel nice? Does your body feel warm? Does your body feel tingly? Do you have a kind of sense of arousal when you're with them or when you think about them? Is your body drawn to them in some way? Now, this doesn't have to be sexual, okay? It could be that you want to hug them, to hold their hand, yeah? To be close to them in some way. You might want to kiss them, okay? Or it might be something more sexual. You might also have a fantasy about them, so you don't actually have to do anything with them or want to do anything but you might become aroused at the thought of being with that person physically. If you have that physical attraction, that physical feeling in your body, 
and you can experience it to more than just one sex or gender, yeah, so you can feel it to lots of different people, then that is a valid by identity, okay? It's worth mentioning at this point that you don't have to have the romantic and the physical. It could be just one of them. It might be a mixture of the two. Okay, the third one is the desire for a relationship. So you might actually see yourself as having a relationship with men, women, people of different genders. It doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. It doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. But if you could see yourself being like a, a lifelong companion or having some kind of committed bond with people of different sexes or genders, then that is also a valid by identity. A lot of people on the asexual spectrum will be uh, having relationships with people of different genders, and that is also a valid part of bisexuality. The fourth and final one is, quite simply, would you like to define as bisexual? In reality, most human beings, according to science, are capable of some form of bisexuality, uh, but only about 2% of the population literally define as bi. And this is absolutely fine because not all of us want to define as LGBT, not all of us feel like that's an important part of our identity. So if you don't want to identify as bi, then that's absolutely fine. A lot of people have a do, and that might be because they want to connect with their LGBT community. They might want to be visible so that other people who are bi can kind of see them as a visible role model. And they might want to connect with other bi people, or it might be something else. Whatever it is, if you want to define as bi, then you can. The last thing I would say is, you know, if you feel any of these four things, romantic, physical, relationship, identity, and you feel that it's right for you to identify as bi and that would help you to communicate those things, then you are allowed. Nobody is allowed to question you. Nobody is allowed to tell you you're wrong. Nobody is allowed to tell you that you're not bi enough. And nobody is allowed to tell you that you're kidding yourself or you're in denial or you're on the way to becoming gay or you're just straight and wanting attention. Nobody gets to define your identity but you, okay? If you want some help with this, then come and get mentoring from me. Join us on Patreon. That's Patreon forward slash not defining. You can speak to me and I will be happy to help. Check out my other videos popping up on the screen now and please subscribe and share this video if you can. I love you lots. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.